What up YouTube, it's your boy Stormrave here, back with another video, and this week I'll be introducing the rebel of my main crew, Tahiro McClyde. For all the newcomers, I'm the creator of the series R Excalibur, currently in development now. It's a fantasy battle shonen about a boy named Rakuto who wants to become a knight so he can find the Celtic tablet and carve his name in it. Now, on to Tahiro. For those of you who've been following me on Instagram and Twitter, you probably know next to nothing about Tahiro, which is really my fault considering I only post a few of the same characters repeatedly. So I especially hope you guys find this and other videos informative, at least about the characters I haven't touched on yet. Tahiro is the same age and height as Rakuto, 14 years old and stands at about 5'8", though Tahiro is about half an inch shorter. He has blonde hair, hazel eyes, fair skin, and usually wears khaki shorts with a green hoodie. He has the really busted ability to teleport, which admittedly I'm ironing the kinks out right now so it doesn't ruin the power scaling of RX. Tahiro's weapon of choice is a crossbow that technically functions like a machine gun a la the rapid automatic fire. Combine that with his ability to teleport and Tahiro can practically strike opponents from anywhere. Hence, some of his peers call him the sharpshooter. Like Aridumo, Tahiro was a carryover from my fan Naruto mangas that I drew way back in 8th grade. I'll save the details for the video when I talk about how I created our Excalibur, but by this point, Tahiro was one of the characters who wasn't properly fleshed out. I gave him a backstory that was just a ripoff of Sasuke's. Older brother did bad thing. Now I must find and confront older brother. Suffice it to say, I completely scrapped the plot line, so no, Tahiro does not have an older brother. He's an only child, and his storyline is way different from what it used to be. For obvious reasons, I can't go into much detail at this time because there are a lot of story threads that are tied with Tahiro's motivations. But I understand that, be that as it may, I can't expect people to care about or have any interest in Tahiro if I don't give you guys something to pique your interest. So I'll just leave you guys with this. Most of part one of our Excalibur takes place in a mainland country called Zeru. Because of some things that happened in Tahiro's past, he's come to absolutely hate the current political system, so much so that he's become driven to rebel against it. Tahiro is a guy who's great at public speaking and rallying others to his cause. He's very persuasive and has managed to put together a small organization called the Black Star Cruxes. One interesting thing to note about Tahiro is that although he's good with people, he absolutely hates it when they try too hard to get too close to him, whether that be brown nosing in his personal business or just genuinely trying to establish a deep connection with him. In other words, Tahiro has serious trust issues, though if he so happens to deem someone a friend, he'll risk his life for them. Tahiro has a bit of a Robin Hood thing going on where he feels the need to take from the rich and give to the needy. He also has a tendency to find himself in trouble a lot, and when you guys read the manga, you'll find out why. The only person Tahiro truly trusts is his best friend El Toro, who I'll be covering in Friday's video. At this point, we've gone through about four of the eight main characters of RX, so we're about halfway done. Afterward, what other things about RX Excalibur would y'all like me to talk about? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you stay notified each time I drop a new video. You guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter for other updates, as I'll leave those handles in the description below. I'll see you guys on Friday, and this is Stormrave, signing off.